You can always record me. Everything's on the record. Wow, wow, wow. What a crew we have today, all right? We got a big crew today. Show them everybody my name is. Ishai, that's right, I'm Ishai, this is me. And I have a big honor and merit to have you guys here today. But I want you to know that you guys are in the merit of uh, something that's that's ancient and biblical. So I want somebody to take out their Bible. Who's got a Bible on them? Why is it always Max got the Bible? Why is that? That's right. Chapter 11, Isaiah 11. First 10, please. Okay. What do we got? All right. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand... In that day, the root of Jesse... Who shall stand as a signal for the people? You stand as a signal, but the word is really banner or a flagpole, like that flagpole up there. Okay, he's going to stand as a flagpole for the people. Of him shall the nations inquire. The nations shall yearn for him, for the root of Jesse. Do you yearn for the root of Jesse? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and his resting place shall be glorious. And his resting place shall be honorable or glorious. Okay? That's what it says. It says that the rest, that the nations will come, yearn for the root of Jesse, Shai, and his resting place will be glorious. That is what we're up to here. Amen. That is what we're up to. So, so I've got a verse, okay? I got a verse, a biblical verse, that, that we're going to fulfill it today, which is we're making this place glorious. I just want you to understand that only uh, some uh, two years ago, this place just looked like disheveled and broken and, and run down, run down, and, and you didn't want to go there. I had no sense of welcoming people in. Now things are different in large measure due to Ayovel and your organization's help here, okay? People like yourself who just made it more beautiful, who just made it more honorable. So that's what we're doing today. What is this place? It's the tomb of Yishai Jesse. And later on became a, a kind of a belief that also Ruth is buried here. Ruth, you know the book of Ruth? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so you know they're really all from Bethlehem, but King David ruled here. Possibly right under where right under where we are right now is where King David's original castle is. That's what we have a, a we we have reason to believe. In. in the last few years we've done a lot to beautify this place. This is actually a crusader building. This building is a crusader building, and those buildings are older, they're Byzantine. From, so this is about a thousand years old, and those are 1,500 years old. This floor right here is a thousand year old floor, okay? And so when we fixed it up a little bit, and there's more to do. Uh, we're in the process of, of normalizing this thing. Last thought for you, okay, which is when we normalize and beautify this place, which is the root of King David, somewhere in Tennessee, somebody's like, somebody in Tennessee is like, you know what, I believe in the God of Israel. <laughs> Somebody in, in Malaysia is like, I think I, I, I want to touch King David somehow. I want to bring him into my life. Some Jewish person in, in Tel Aviv was like, I think I want to keep the Sabbath. You know? We, we send out a, what, you know, the butterfly effect. We send out a signal a faith, a beautification. We take it back from chaos, make it into the Garden of Eden. Okay? Because there's Hebron. Hebron is, Hebron is the number one Jewish city in terms of history. Right? Jerusalem becomes the number one, the crown. But before that, Abraham bought his first property here in the land of Israel. Jewish people lived here for the longest period of, from Abraham's time on. Uh, King David ruled here. And yet, it's a total mess. Why is it a mess? Because there's a force of chaos that wants to undermine it. Today, we are pushing back on that chaos. Okay? That's what you're here to do. Where are you from? Australia. All right, been to Australia. I've been there twice. Okay, so uh, huh? Haven't been to my place. Where's that? In the I was I was in Alice Springs. I went to Uluru. I went to, I, I was in Perth. I was in all these places. Huh? Yeah, there you go. I was there. Okay. Uh, so I I was out there. But here you come from far far away today to make a little bit of this world uh, more orderly. And I'll send the signal out all the way to to Queensland and. Uh, and the Western Territory, whatever it's called, all the places. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll send out a signal from, of King David out here uh, today with the help of God. Okay, we have with us Mac. Uh, he's, uh, he's uh, you know, he knows this place inside out already. We have with us our stone worker, Itamar. He's a great uh, uh, understander of what's happening, but he's not a great English speaker. Okay, so, you know, use the international language, and, uh, and we'll make that happen. 